What's up guys? What's going on peeps? So we're here today to address a question we've been getting asked a lot. And that question is, what's it like to play in front of 35,000 people? actually a really awesome experience. That clip you just saw was at North American Youth Congress 2017 at the Indianapolis Colts Stadium in Indiana. We were very nervous. Definitely the, the morning of waking up, uh, I was like, Simon, I don't think we can do this. <laughs> it's like my throat hurts, man. Yeah, and um, uh, we were just you know trying to go over the song that we were mm -hmm. singing and just to make sure that we were ready. And then I'm uh, Finally, it just got to the point where we were like, yo, okay, let's uh, just chill out. And um, we practiced, mm -hmm. you know, we spent time in, in prayer about it. And um, e even that, that morning, I, I asked God to like, just give me a word to like, calm me down. And um, it was uh, 2 Corinthians um, chapter 3, verse 5. So it says, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. So basically, when I read that, I was like, okay, Jesus, take the wheel, take it from my hands. <laughs> and literally, after reading that, there was such a peace that came over me, and um, I shared it with Simon, and we were both, you know, like, so ready. No more freaking out. No, just peace. We're gonna do this. Yeah. God gave us this opportunity. Um, let's not let ourselves get in the way. Let's just, go, let's just go up there and just do it big. Yeah. And uh, when we got there, I mean... It was, yeah, it was crazy. Um, we walked the stadium, into the stadium. Yeah. We got there uh, like an hour and a half earlier for a sound check. And uh, we're, we're walking in into this ginormous stadium. It's completely empty. And as soon as we got on stage, the nerves just started coming back. It was a little bit, but I think we were just freaking out because we, we saw that, you know, this place is empty right now, but it will be full in about an hour. And uh, we, we sang a, like a chorus or two, just to, it was a quick sound check and we we're like, okay, like this is it, we're, we're doing this. It was finally time and the stadium was full of people. It's 35,000 people in attendance. So this is a lot, a lot of people. And uh, it's our biggest uh, yeah. crowd yet. Biggest yet. <laughs> so we get up on the stage and um, we're just, you know, Trying to stay focused, you know, or maybe just on like one person to imagine there's only one person. Her legs are shaking. We were getting announced, so we, we had some time to, you know, get all together with our guitar strap, make sure we're in the right position, and um, then it was go time. And we hit that first chord, start strumming. Wake up. So we just get into it, and um, basically, once we started singing, all the, the nerves, the, the, the whole, you know, oh, I don't know if I can do this, uh, that was all gone, because we were just doing it already. Yeah. You know, there's no turning back. There's no rewind, get me off the stage. No, we were doing it. We were just pouring our hearts out and uh, just trying to give this message that we believe that God gave us um, to tell other people, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, you can rise up from this situation. You know, um, there's a God that loves you and he cares for you. and even though, you know, the, the weather might look shady and everything around you is dark, you know, you can still have hope and know that Jesus is there and he's looking out for you and you're good. There, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, that might sound cliche, but it's true. All in all, the experience was something really beautiful and it's something that we'll never forget. 
we, were, we literally were able to share this message of hope and it's something that, you know, this is what we love to do. This is what we feel like we, we were created to do. This, this whole thing with the music and like we're just thankful that that opportunity was evidence that, you know, we're, we're doing the right thing. That this is, you know, something that we're actually called to do. Yeah, and it's, it's funny because when we wrote Our Eyes, um, we were actually um, just kind of doubting whether or not we were supposed to continue, you know, making music. If, if this was actually the career that we were supposed to be, you know, striving for, is a, if this is something that we want to make our, our career. And um, we never thought that we'd be singing, singing that song in front of 35,000 people when we wrote it. So it's just, it's mind blowing. You know, the things that, that you don't see, um, and then when you get there, you can look back and just, wow. And the song is talking about rising up, and um, God took us to another level. Yeah. So we want to leave you guys with this, you know, that our experience was something that helped us to realize, you know, that, that God is in control and that He is faithful with His promises. So if God has promised you something, if, he, if He's given you a dream, a vision, just an aspiration, if it's, if it's not happening right now, don't just give up on it. You know, if this is something that you truly believe that God gave you and it's your purpose, if you are following Him, it will come to pass. And we just want to encourage you guys, you know, no matter if you've hit the ground, if you're knocked down, God will lift you up. You can rise up. You are alive. And that is for a reason. You are not finished here yet. Okay, guys. So we were in the process of uh, editing this video, and we realized that... We lost the closing clips. We lost the closing clips. So here it is. The closing clip. We love y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay fresh and blessed. But real quick, we want to give a quick shout-out to our cousin, Sherman. our Sherman Mueller, yes. all the way in Nicaragua. So we're going to go ahead and, and say it in Spanish here. Hola Sherman. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muchos saludos. Te mando muchos saludos. Uh, te quiero. Y Dios te bendiga. All right? Love you, man. Bye. All right, guys. Stay fresh and blessed. Peace out. Till next time. Ooh.